It's day two of week two here at the United Nations Climate Talks in Durban, South Africa. We're going to try and give you a brief wrap-up of the big issues here. Over the weekend, China hinted that it might be willing to start thinking about reaching a legally binding agreement on its own emissions. However, crucially, it set down a number of preconditions that it wants rich countries to meet before it goes ahead with that. Uh, the, these concern climate finance, the future of the Kyoto Protocol and some other more technical issues. Um, it's not clear how rich countries are responding to this, but it's unlikely that it'll, it's something that will move forward quickly. Following the Chinese announcement, Connie Hedegaard, the EU's climate chief, took to Twitter to say that uh, some uh, countries here at these talks have been taking, making more progressive statements in their public press releases than they have behind closed doors in the negotiations themselves. So you can read into that what you will. One big concern remains the lack of urgency. So uh, even if a deal is agreed at the moment, it looks unlikely that ambition levels will be upped until 2020. Um, with conservative analysts like the International Energy Agency saying that um, actually 2017 is probably the latest that we can afford to have a, um, an effective transition to renewable energy. 2020 is clearly too late um, if we want to stop the climate crisis. Campaigners have been telling us that uh, they're concerned about the way that the negotiations are proceeding with regards to forests. Um, we've heard a lot about the problems regarding tropical forests, so a lack of safeguards for um, indigenous peoples and uh, a lack of safeguards with regards to biodiversity. However, we're also hearing that rich countries are trying to avoid accounting for emissions that result from logging of their own forests in temperate zones. Just finally, uh, Greenpeace uh, conducted an action on the seafront last night in protest at a um, large business event. They had seven activists arrested and three deported following that. Uh, we've heard that there's going to be several more actions as these talks hot up over the coming days, so we'll do our best to make sure we've got cameras on the ground for you. Uh, stay tuned in to oneclimate.net. Uh, the next few days are going to be uh, busy at these talks as the politicians get down into the details and look to resolve some of the big issues.